An old video of Jada Pinkett Smith degrading her husband Will Smith on Instagram has now resurfaced and many people believe that this explains not only the Oscars slap but also their toxic relationship. Back in 2020, without anyone's consent, we all learned about the word entanglement. And from there, we also learned way too much about Will and Jada's relationship. Jada Pinkett Smith confirmed that she was romantically involved with singer August Alsina during an episode of her Facebook watch show called Red Table Talk. She spoke openly about this while sitting across from her husband Will Smith. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film me. The thing that really baffled people was that she did this with her son's friend. Jaden is the one that introduced August to the house, and then he went and got himself entangled with his friend's mom. During the one-on-one -on -one interview with Will, Jada explained that she and August had become good friends, but I guess he missed the memo on keeping things hush-hush. August then came out and claimed that he and Jada had started a relationship while she was married and Will had given him permission, which is completely false and only blew this whole thing up in the press even more. The couple also revealed in their conversation that they had briefly separated when Jada began seeing August, but with that behind them, they were apparently now committed to one another. Fast forward to 2022 and the pair seemed to be doing much better. They even attended the Oscars together. But alas, it was perhaps far too early for them to be making public appearances together. We posted this video on our Instagram page and one person believes that Will was actually acting in that earlier clip, but it really does seem like he is annoyed by Jada pestering him to record this video. But I would be remiss if I didn't offer up that perspective, so you you at least can make up your own mind about this whole situation. In the comments section they said, Bro, he's being sarcastic. Since when he first started to get into social media and everyone was making a big deal about his tweets and videos, he's saying to not film him to playfully act like he's big time now or whatever. They're sarcastically playing with each other. Now the connection to the Oscar slap might be one of the biggest reaches out there, but let's break it down to see if we can link this video to that incident. If that video is genuine and not acting, then it shows that Jada has a lot of control over Will. But that's not enough to explain why Will would just get up to defend her so quickly. So let's dive in a little deeper. During an episode of Red Table Talk, first broadcasted on October 29, 2018, Will opened up to his family about what he deemed to be the lowest point of his life, which just so happened to coincide with Jada's 40th birthday. He had spent three years putting together a documentary for her to play at her birthday party. In the doc, he detailed her entire family history, it featured hidden tapes of her grandmother that had never been seen before, and he even tracked down a descendant of the White family who once owned Pickett Smith's ancestors. He even got Mary J. Blige to perform at her birthday party. He described himself looking at Jada like the little boy that wants mommy to say everything was wonderful, but he didn't realize she was having a really difficult emotional time. After they got back to their room with Willow there as well, Will recalled Jada telling him, that was the most disgusting display of ego I have ever seen in my life. They then began to fight so much that a 10-year-old Willow emerged crying with her hands over her ears begging them to stop. A letter that Willow supposedly wrote as a child then also re-emerged and it was addressed to Tupac Shakur. In the letter she writes, Dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. I think that my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you please come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here, I really do, love Willow. So now let's go to the Oscars where Chris Roth makes a joke targeted at the woman Will is so desperately trying to please. He truly looks at her like he's protecting his own mother, which makes it 10 times harder to leave that relationship when it's just not working. Remember, Will laughed at the G.I. Jane joke, then turned to see a displeased Jada and then acted immediately because he assumed that's what mommy wanted him to do. Chris Rock has finally broken his silence on Will Smith slapping him at the Oscars. The comedian addressed the controversy at his sold out show in Boston as part of his Ego Death Tour. Like all of us, Chris said that he is still processing what happened last weekend. On top of Chris's reaction though, many new camera angles are coming out that show a different side to this story and I think it's worth mentioning, but stick around to find out what Chris Rock's response was. For starters, footage that was seemingly filmed on a cell phone shows a reaction from Jada Pinkett Smith that the TV camera just didn't catch. I'm also trying to figure out what celebrity sat behind Lupita that could have recorded this. I think it was Jared Leto, but comment down below who you think recorded this video. In the new camera angle, we only see the back of Jada's head as she appears to lean forward and laugh when Chris Rock responds to the slap by saying, Will Smith just smacked the sh out of me. She then can be seen looking over at her husband as he continues to rage on and yell at Rock to keep his wife's name out of his effing mouth. She didn't seem upset though, that's the main point here. She actually appeared to monitor Chris's reaction when she turned to face him after the slap, but also looked like she was clapping her hands and laughing for a second time after he described what just happened as the greatest night in the history of television. It's still unclear who filmed and then shared the footage, but it has since gone viral on Twitter. Jada also gave a brief reaction to the incident on Instagram when she posted this image that 
that said, This is a season for healing and I'm here for it. And Chris Rock's brother also took to Twitter to clear up any rumors that Will and Chris had reconciled. Right after the event, there were people saying that Diddy claimed Chris and Will made up that night, but apparently that never happened. In response to someone saying, So Diddy was lying when he said Chris and Will made up that night and are good now? Tony simply replied, yep. And the Academy also issued a direct apology to Chris Rock and admitted that they could have handled the situation better. As per a statement to Deadline, a spokesperson said, the Board of Governors today initiated disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violations of the Academy's standard of conduct, including inappropriate physical contact, abusive or threatening behavior, and compromising the integrity of the Academy. They continue by saying, consistent with the Academy's standards of conduct as well as California law, Mr. Smith is being provided at least 15 days notice of a vote regarding his violations and sanctions and the opportunity to be heard beforehand by means of a written response. At the next board meeting on April 18th, the Academy may take any disciplinary action which may include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions permitted by the bylaws and standards of conduct. Adding, Mr. Smith's actions at the 94th Oscars were a deeply shocking, traumatic event to witness in person and on television. Mr. Rock, we apologize to you for what you experienced on our stage and thank you for your resilience in that moment. We also apologize to our nominees, guests, and viewers for what transpired during what should have been a celebratory event. Things unfolded in a way that we could not have anticipated. While we would like to clarify that Mr. Smith was asked to leave the ceremony and refused, we also recognize we could have handled the situation differently. As Chris Rock made his first public appearance for his sold out show in Boston, the front two rows actually gave him a standing ovation when he came out on stage. The 57-year-old comedian performed at the Wilbur Theater and opened by saying to the crowd, so how was your weekend? Clearly alluding to the incident on everyone's mind. After the crowd sat back down, he continued by saying with tears in his eyes, let me be all misty and I don't have a bunch of to say about that. He then added, I had written a whole show before this weekend. I'm still processing what happened. So at some point I'll talk about that It'll be serious, it'll be funny, but right now I'm gonna tell some jokes. He also confirmed that he had not spoken to anyone despite what you may have heard. Hailey Bieber is now getting backlash for her response to the Oscars 2022 Will Smith slapping of Chris Rock. Yesterday we saw Zoe Kravitz get canceled for her thoughts on the matter along with Judd Apatow and many more celebrities. The Will Smith fandom seems to be out in full force and they are attacking anyone who believes that Will was wrong for what he did. But stick around to find out why Hailey Bieber is getting so much hate right now. To remind you, Zoe Kravitz in two separate posts threw some shade at Will Smith. In her first caption she wrote, "Here's a picture of my dress at the award show where we are apparently attacking people on stage now. Then in another post she wrote in the caption, and here is a picture of my dress at the party after the award show where we are apparently screaming profanities and attacking people on stage now. Now she didn't mention anyone by name, but everyone knew exactly who she was talking about. And because of this take, everyone that was a fan of the Smith family decided to expose Zoe Kravitz on Twitter. I mean, the cancellation of Zoe happened immediately. One person kicked off the cancellation by quoting Zoe and calling her a predator for what she said previously about Jaden Smith. In the screen cap posted to Twitter, Zoe apparently said, there were moments that I was hanging out with Jaden and thinking, I can't believe you're 14. I have to check myself. Like what I say to you. He has so much personality and so much swag. He is so much cooler than I am. And he's so handsome. I was like, when you're older, you know, we'll hang out. Nope, that's inappropriate. You're 14. With another person adding, why was Zoe Kravitz at 26 years old attracted to 16 year old Jaden Smith? The F is wrong with her. And attached to that tweet was a video from a red carpet interview where Zoe had gushed that she had brought a then 16 year old Jaden to the award show as her date. Other people also took issue with her supporting the ever so problematic Alexander Wang, as well as dating Ezra Miller when they were only 17 or 18 and she was in her 20s. Now, Hailey Bieber is also getting flack for showing support to someone that the internet recently deemed problematic. Apparently, after liking Zoe's Instagram posts that were taking shots at Will Smith because he slapped Chris Rock, people have begun to turn on Hailey. The original post was deleted, which kicked off Hailey's cancellation on Twitter, but someone had screen capped what this Twitter user wrote about her upon seeing that she had simply liked Zoe's post. In the since deleted tweet, they said, your husband hates you, you're jobless, your brain is rotting, you're barren, you're a child your uncle is a your dad is bankrupt, and your friends are always laughing at you behind your back at Hailey Bieber. And following that, people were quick to encourage the user behind this tweet, like this one user who said, Hailey Bieber liked Zoe Kravitz's post, and the caption was basically defending Chris Rock, and random non-famous homegirl bodied Hailey for liking the post. On top of that, many people started tweeting out receipts of Justin treating Hailey poorly. Another user tweeted along with a video of Justin closing the car door on Hailey and said, Hailey Bieber liking that Zoe Kravitz post like her husband doesn't treat her like this. Then in a separate tweet, they said, I'd be mad too seeing another man defend his wife knowing mine slams doors in my face. Then on top of all of that, things got really serious when people started posting older screenshots that 
outed Haley as a racist. In their tweet, the user posted several screenshots of tweets from Haley and said, I was showing my sister why I'm laughing about Haley Bieber and Alec Baldwin putting their input in the whole Will Smith, Chris Rock debacle. Like a racist and a should be the last people talking. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, they were prepared to arrest Will Smith for battery right after he slapped Chris Rock. However, as we all know, that never actually transpired. So stick around to find out why. In a preview clip for an upcoming interview on Good Morning America, Oscars producer Will Packer claimed that the LAPD told Chris Rock that they would be happy to remove Will Smith from the audience and arrest him for what just happened. Packer recalled them saying to Chris, we will go get him. We are prepared to get him right now. You can press charges. We can arrest him. Will Packer went on to say that Rock was very dismissive towards the police though, but he kept telling Chris to just hear the police out before making a final decision. The producer went on to say, they were laying out the options and as they were talking, Chris was being very dismissive of those options. He was like, no, I'm fine. He was like, no, no, no. The Academy also issued a direct apology to Chris Rock and admitted that they could have handled the situation better. As per a statement to Deadline.com, a spokesperson said, The Board of Governors today initiated disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violations of the Academy's standards of conduct, including inappropriate physical contact, or threatening behavior and compromising the integrity of the Academy. They continue by saying, Consistent with the Academy's standard of conduct, as well as California law, Mr. Smith is being provided at least 15 days notice of a vote regarding his violations and sanctions and the opportunity to be heard beforehand by means of a written response. At the next board meeting on April 18th, the Academy may take any disciplinary action which may include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions permitted by the bylaws and standards of conduct. Adding, Mr. Smith's actions at the 94th Oscars were a deeply shocking, traumatic event to witness in person and on television. Mr. Rock, we apologize to you for what you experienced on our stage and thank you for your resilience in that moment. We also apologize to our nominees, guests, and viewers for what transpired during what should have been a celebratory event. Things unfolded in a way that we could not have anticipated. While we would like to clarify that Mr. Smith was asked to leave the ceremony and refused, we also recognize we could have handled the situation differently. Ultimately, the real reason that the police did not immediately arrest Will Smith is because Chris declined to press any charges. However, the police did say a statement on Sunday that if the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. A source close to Will Smith also confirmed to the Sun newspaper that he and his lawyer are going to be writing to the Academy to plead his case in an upcoming hearing. The source goes on to say, things are hanging in the balance. He will write an official letter to apologize and effectively beg for their forgiveness. He is also expected to hold a call with show bosses in the next 24 hours. April 18th is D-Day though. He will find out if he still has an Oscar and quite possibly a career. What's interesting though is that the more I read about the situation, the more confused I get. You see, Will Packer claimed that Chris had spoken with police and declined, but then an insider told the New York Post, no one ever asked Chris if Will should leave. They never consulted him. It was the Oscar producer Will Packer who made the final decision to let Will stay. The witnesses then claimed that Packer actually walked up to Will and said, we do not want you to leave. So all of this stuff that you're hearing now from the Academy about doing their best to make him leave is a load of BS. They're only doing that because they saw how the public reacted acted to Will not being asked to leave. In that moment though, they were as fake as Hollywood gets and tried to make sure that he could stay for the remainder of the show. I doubt there were even any emotional outbursts from the Oscars president David Rubin and CEO Don Hudson like everyone had been reporting. This year's 2022 Grammy Awards were hosted by Trevor Noah, who recently was the reason that Kanye West was banned from Instagram. Also, with fellow comedian Chris Rock getting slapped at the 2022 Oscars, everyone was waiting for Trevor to make some kind of a joke or reference to the incident. This was Trevor Noah's second consecutive year hosting the Grammys, and in his opening monologue, he took a moment to throw some shade at Will Smith. But stick around to find out exactly what he said. Chris was introducing the award for Best Documentary when he turned his attention to the Smith family, who appeared to be front and center. Rock joked that he was looking forward to seeing Jada in G.I. Jane 2, which was a poorly timed joke at Jada's lack of hair. To explain the joke, G.I. Jane is a 1997 movie starring a bald Demi Moore as a soldier. Little did Chris know, Jada had been diagnosed with alopecia, which is an autoimmune condition characterized by rapid hair loss in the scalp, eyebrows, and eyelashes, for which treatments are very limited. In the clip, you can actually see that initially Will Smith actually laughs at the joke, but then when he notices that Jada is rolling her eyes and clearly displeased, he gets up to defend his wife. Will then marches straight at Chris Rock and proceeds to slap him in the face. As Rock is stunned by this unscripted moment, he tries to explain that it was just a joke. Although Will is fired up at this point and clearly did not care as he shouted twice during the live broadcast, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. A now stunned Chris Rock must finish presenting the award for best documentary, but before continuing he says, that was the greatest night in the history of television. 
I'm sure he meant to say that was the greatest moment in the history of television, but hey, if you just got slapped in the face by Will Smith, he'd be a little out of sorts as well. Now, a lot of people were split on the internet about this. Uh, some people were defending Will Smith, saying that he was just defending his wife, and they thought that Chris's joke was perhaps in poor taste. However, on the flip side of things, the other argument is that this should have never been handled live on air. Plus, words should not also equal violence. All this will do is make every comedian everywhere start joking about Jada because they know how much of a sore spot this is for Will Smith. Although Trevor Noah decided to keep things classy and instead make a joke in reference to what Will said, rather than make a joke about Jada herself. When addressing the controversial moment, Trevor Noah said, we're going to be listening to music, we're going to be dancing, we're going to be singing, we're going to be keeping people's names out of our mouths, and we're going to be giving out awards all throughout the night. When Will Smith won Best Actor later in the Oscars ceremony, he apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees. The following day, he also publicly apologized to Chris Rock on social media. He has since, though, resigned from the Academy amid the growing controversy. And at number 10, Jaden Smith. Celebrities are now reacting to Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars, and we've got everything you need to know. After Chris made that joke about Jada Pinkett Smith that caused Will to get him out of his seat and slap him, you can see the visible confusion on everyone's face. Some people gasped while others applauded him. And one of those people that are standing strong on Will's side, though, through all of this is his son, Jaden. Although several other high-profile celebrities are also reacting to the news as well. In response to the news, though, Jaden Smith tweeted, And that's how we do it. In at number 9, Liam Payne. Liam Payne also was in attendance for the Oscars when this happened and was quoted by Good Morning Britain as saying, I believe whatever he felt that he did, he had the right to do. I had to leave my chair. I'll be honest with you, it cut me really deep. He then went on to say, I also felt like there was three losers in one fight. It's a very sad thing, but there was a powerful moment for me to sit and watch one of the world's best emoters speak from the heart, and I would rather take away the beauty from the situation than take the pain. But I had to leave my chair. I'll be honest with you, it cut me really deep. And in number eight, the Academy. In response to what took place, the Academy tweeted, The Academy does not condone violence of any form. Tonight we are delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Award winners who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world. And as it turns out, this situation was much deeper than it had appeared. You see, this wasn't the first time that Chris Rock had made fun of the Smith family. Back in 2016, the comedian hosted the Academy Awards where both Will and Jada were in attendance. Rock made fun of Jada publicly, saying that she was going to be boycotting the show after another year of all-white acting nominees. At the time, he said, Jada said she's not coming. I was like, isn't she on a TV show? Jada's gonna boycott the Oscars? Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting boycotting around his panties. I wasn't invited. Coming in number seven, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was another person defending Will in several tweets and said, I love Chris Rock. I don't think he would have made that joke had he known what Jada recently shared, but between him and the whole team at the Oscars, you mean to tell me not one of y'all heard this woman just share this heartbreaking story? Hashtag, come on son. Adding in another tweet, you just got to witness in real time what happens in a man's soul when he looks over to the woman he loves and sees her holding back tears from a little joke at her expense. This is what any and every real man feels in that instant. While y'all seeing the joke, he's seeing her pain. In at number six, Kathy Griffin. Comedian Kathy Griffin was another celebrity giving her two cents on the whole situation. She tweeted out in response to Will slapping Chris and said, let me tell you something, it's a very bad practice to walk up on stage and physically assault a comedian. Now we all have to worry about who wants to be the next Will Smith in comedy clubs and theaters. Although many people in her replies were quick to pull up that photo of her holding a ketchup covered Donald Trump head as if to say that she condoned violence in some sense. Griffin made a valid point though, this will set an awful precedent for people feeling like they can just approach a comedian on stage if they don't like what's being said. In number five, Alec Baldwin. Most people understood why comedians would stand in solidarity with Chris Rock, but a lot of people expected actors to only get behind Will Smith and his unscrupulous actions. Take to his private Twitter page, Alec Baldwin tweeted, I'm not reading much about how or even if the producers attended to Chris, but I love you, Chris Rock, and I'm sorry the Oscars turned into the Jerry Springer show. Alec also needed to say something because a lot of people on Twitter were quick to draw comparisons between the Will Smith slap and what happened on the set of Rust. One person tweeted, Don't worry about the Academy punishing Will Smith. If they do, it will either be for two weeks like Whoopi, six days like Jesse, or not at all like Alec Baldwin. Hollywood is totally immune from justice. Coming number four, The View. As one would assume, all of the daytime talk shows were going to be talking about the now infamous slap heard around the world. The View, however, had a mixed bag of reactions from their hosts. Sonny Hostin said, I think Will was immature, I think he was childish, and he was violent. With Whoopi Goldberg saying, there will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think that's what they're going to do, particularly because Chris said, listen, I'm not pressing any charges. Anna Navarro didn't mince her words, though, and said, hitting somebody is a crime, a crime of assault. While she called Rock's quip a lean joke, a joke in very poor taste, she believes the slap and the remark were not equivalent. While 
while Joy Behar chose to speak on the impact that this will have on comedians everywhere. Behar remarked, they want us comedians to be edgy, to go out there and say what everyone's thinking, and then they get mad. In at number three, Jamila Jamil. Actress Jamila Jamil also had some thoughts about the 2022 Oscars incident that is making waves across the world. Attached to a Malcolm X quote that says, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Jamila wrote in her tweet, Will Smith said, not today, a man big enough to absolutely floor him slapped him softly enough that Chris barely moved because he made fun of his wife's alopecia on a world stage. Don't say hashtag protect black women for two years and then only condemn will here come on in number two rosie o'donnell Rosie O'Donnell is an American comedian, producer, actress, author, and television personality. She began her comedy career as a teenager and received her breakthrough on the television series Star Search in 1984. Her response to this incident, though, was that the Academy did not do enough after Will smacked Chris. In her tweet, she said, So upsetting on every level. Bravo to Chris Rock for not eviscerating Will Smith, which he could do any day of the week. He walked away. Bravo from a sad display of toxic masculinity from a narcissistic madman. And last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Will Smith. The main person that everyone wanted wanted to hear a reaction from though was Will Smith himself. Yes, he sort of touched on what happened during his acceptance speech, but later on we got a full letter addressing the controversy. In response to how the world reacted to him slapping Chris Rock, Will said, Violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees, and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has strained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will.